Well, today's deep dive is uh, definitely bittersweet. You know, we're looking back at Liam Payne's life and mm -hmm. it's hard. It's really hard to do that without thinking about all the grief still present from his his passing. But and yeah. for anyone who maybe needs a little refresher, Liam was part of something really massive. One Direction. Global phenomenon. Yeah, yeah that's one yeah. way. I mean, they were huge. A whole generation's soundtrack selling out stadiums like it was nothing. Yeah. Their impact. I mean, it's undeniable. Absolutely. So we're not going to get too caught up in the details of how he passed. Yeah. Instead, Good idea. we're using this deep dive to remember Liam. Liam, the person. And yeah. we've got this <laughs> kind of unique way to do that. We're going to do it through the tributes from his bandmates because they painted a really vivid picture, you know? And that's what makes this so interesting because, you know, these aren't just some pre-written statements run through a publicist, you know? Yeah. This is real emotion. These people knew him better than almost anyone. Yeah, it's true. Like, take Harry Styles, for example. He said Liam's greatest joy was making others happy. Like, it's yeah. so simple, but wow, does that ever make you think? What does that say about who Liam was at his core? I know. It's really insightful when you think about it. Was this just who he was? This kindness, this this need to make others happy? Was it always there even before the fame? And how did that affect his relationships, his music, his life, both on and off the stage? That's a question that really stuck with me. It's like you see this theme of just genuine care coming out and you start to get, you start to understand the kind of person he was. Yeah, it's a glimpse into who he was, absolutely. And speaking of his character, Louis Tomlinson's tribute really got me. He called Liam the most vital part of One Direction, praised his perfect pitch, wow. his songwriting, his stage presence, everything. And that is high praise coming from another musician. Mm. It says a lot about his talent, about his potential as a solo artist. And honestly, it makes his loss even harder to think about, knowing all the music he still had in him, especially because Louis even mentioned they had talked about working together again. The unfinished projects, the collaborations that are never going to be, it's just, it's a lot. It is. Yeah. And, you know, even Zayn Malik, who we know hasn't always seen eye to eye with the other guys since leaving the band, even he had such powerful things to say, calling him a brother. Yeah. Talk about how Liam supported him back when it was all just beginning, when he was only 17 and homesick. That really resonated with me. It just, it points to a bond that goes way beyond being in a band together. It makes you think about what it must be like to deal with that level of fame at such a young age. Mm -hmm. The highs, the lows, that shared experience, it creates such a strong connection even when disagreements come up. You can tell it wasn't just for show. They really were like brothers. Yeah. It really shows you how complicated their relationship was. Even when their careers went in different directions, even when they didn't always agree, you can tell that connection was still there. That history they had, it ran deep. And you see how deep those emotions run in Louis' tribute, especially when he talks about Liam's son, Bear, promising to be there for him, to tell him stories about his dad. It's just... It's heartbreaking. It makes you think about how much bigger this loss really is. It's not just about their grief, but about how they keep Liam's memory alive, how they make sure he's still a presence, especially for his son. It makes you wonder how this will change them. Will this bring the band back together? Will they make music to honor him? Or is it all just too much? It's, it's hard to say. Grief affects everyone differently. Some people might find comfort in the music, in making something beautiful from their pain. Others might just need time time and space to heal. It's a really personal thing. It is. But we can see from all these tributes, what's really clear is that these guys had something special. It was more than just the music, more than the fame, more than all of it. They really loved and respected each other. And that's a bond that will always be there no matter what. It reminds you that behind all the music, behind everything we see on stage, there's a real person with real problems, real relationships. Exactly. And I think that's something we can all learn from. Not just about remembering that celebrities are human too, but about cherishing the people in our lives, appreciating who they are, all the little quirks and intricacies, because those are the things that make them unique. It really makes you think about how we remember the people we've lost. Do we ever really capture who they were? Like, beyond the headlines, beyond what they did. Yeah, it's easy to get caught up in their public image. Like with Liam, we mostly saw him on stage or in interviews. But as we see from these tributes, there's always so much more to someone. It's the little things, the way they treated people, the strength they showed when things were tough. Those are the things that really matter. It's about seeing the whole picture, the real person behind all that. Right. And you know, it's a good reminder. It's a good reminder 
to tell the people we care about how much they mean to us while we still can. Because you never know what tomorrow will bring. It really makes you think. To everyone listening, take a moment today. Tell someone you love them. Share a story about someone you miss. Celebrate the people who've touched your life. And Liam, thank you for sharing your gift with the world. We'll miss you.